bringing back memories, man. Memory lane here. I remember coming here doing cardio up there, fucking staring out over at the time, seeing what time it was. Fuck, man. Every Sunday I was here for hours. Crazy. Crazy. I start. I started my career in this gym. It's just crazy. Crazy. 2007. I was here. Yeah. Bodybuilding image alive and proud in the uh, in the gas with better bodies fucking house because uh, just because me and Branch are retired, it all started one way and it all started from eating fucking a lot of good food. So whenever we travel, number one priority is get the food in and make sure we stop at the um, closest, most convenient grocery store where we can get it. So all right. How many should we get? Two, four, six, That's eight. Good. Then we'll get like one or two big ribeyes and then we have plenty. Yeah. That's not in here. Just because you're Italian or what? No, you, you gotta put olive oil on the potatoes, you gotta put a little olive oil, it just it's, it helps fucking I, the girls better. I don't know. I know we're bodybuilders and we think that like we should always put pants fry and everything because it's less calories, but a little bit of olive oil it burns off it's just it's healthier than using all that chemical shit it's just it's just better overall so i don't like the old-fashioned ones and some people might be cream of rice person throw some of that in there what is this apple and cinnamon cane sugar first ingredient that's good i wonder why it tastes good okay do the rice so let's just do jasmine rice how you get bodybuilders to buy your stuff? Put a bodybuilder on it. Real fucking hard marketing. Um, Thanks, Dave. <laughs> I 
to wrap them in tin foil. Keeps it all nice and hot. So they not only grill, but they don't get stuck to the grill, but they kind of steam so they get nice and moist on the inside. Just like I like my women, moist on the inside. What happened on the highway? Because this uh, crazy car from behind and uh, almost take out my left corner uh, because he doesn't know how to drive. And of course he's an Italian little hobbit. I know how to drive, which is why I came so close and fucking, I drifted using his. <laughs> The, the only thing that is agile with the guy is his uh, mouth. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Can I go home uh, now? Yeah. Right now, we need to focus on this meat. I'll, I'll give you meat to focus on. Give me a second. <laughs> Whip it up. <laughs> That's about the size yeah. I you're gonna need. First time. What's <laughs> up, Yang? You're here in Connecticut yeah. with the crew. Wow. <laughs> it feels unreal, man. Yeah. Four years ago, we we had the Iron World Tour, Beijing, Beijing. Hangzhou, e yeah. everywhere. Actually, the first time, you know, I was in Texas, Dallas, Texas, it was back in January 2018. So it's been five years. It's uh, five years in the making. Suddenly, I'm here. Have to make it happen. <laughs> this will be a good uh, general rehearsal for tomorrow. I'm gonna fucking cook again? Yeah. I thought it was entertainment, not the motherfucking sous chef. Okay. Nobody told you? <laughs> surprise. Yeah. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Look at you, uh, all your muscles, they're done now. What do you think gonna happen? Listen, I'll add in two more meals a day, I'll fucking, I'll be beating Keon. I'm on the Martin Fitzwater plan. He says smoke weed every day. <laughs> When you lick pussy. <laughs> oh my god! Maybe I'll stop recording. <laughs> no! <laughs> Can that be the trailer? Yeah. When you lick pussy beat? You gotta learn, Michael. <laughs> you that engine, you gotta watch it. Cause somebody always got a damn camera on. Could you imagine if Nick came out with like an unedited, like mic'd up tape that like he had? From all the shit we said that he didn't know we that he that we Do we had. get more views? Gas it, it, Gas no, we, canceled, we'd all be fucked. <laughs> Nick, you know how dead I would be? You ever been to Montana Brothers? Yeah. Probably one of my favorite gyms ever. Ever. Oh. Ever. It's almost like, uh, I told Brandon, it's almost like Metroflex, yeah. but bigger, yeah. and it has all like similar, it, it, it's had it's like all like older style equipment, but it has some new stuff, but it's like Metroflex, but all the stuff works. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. not like bent and destroyed, it's like kept up, and it's, yeah. it's by far, out of every gym I've trained at, it's probably one of my top three all-time favorite gyms ever. I used to drive up here every week to train with uh, Kenny, the posing coach. Yeah. 16 weeks in a row every Sunday when I, uh, when I was getting ready for shows. I eat more when I'm with, with, with Branch. Branch makes sure I eat if I don't need to get pissed. If that was, if that was rummy, this career he'd have been open class. My appetite sucks. You are my cup of sunshine, <laughs> my only sunshine. Can we fucking go? I didn't say shit, I was drinking coffee. Too much no, I'm a cup of sunshine, motherfucker. You got a problem? <laughs> we're, about to, we're about to go to Evan said the potties kit. Oh, you know what? You want to do it. Fucking vlog it. Vlog, do it. Gotta, no, you know what? Gas with Better Bodies YouTube channel is now MJ's fucking voice of reason. Vlog. He's going to be the spokesperson the entire time. I'm going to be the MJ. He's going to be the guy. He's the, enterta he's the entertainment now. He's the, he's the entertainment, and I'm the boss. And uh, hello, I told you. This is not realistic because it only works. Man, uh, don't get me started. I'm just drinking my damn coffee, man. Yes, MJ. <laughs> what? No, it was cheddar buttons with the no the dumbbell. Hana, hi, hi, hello. I should come watch how she wants to watch how to use it. When, when the conversation's getting serious and he doesn't want to say it in front of us, he goes full Swede mode. He'll be like, Helena, no, just go on the Kishkan, no, 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 And we're all like,
2006, I was working at GNC, and then I got, was working at GNC in Danbury, Connecticut, and then I got transferred to GNC in the Trumbull Mall. So, one day I'm working, and this fucking mutant walks in, buying, and he was asked to buy supplements, and I was like, who the fuck is this guy? He was huge. And he was like, oh, my name's Evan, you know, nice to meet you, and then I ended up going to a gym that was a world gym in Trumbull, and he was training there. He was fucking skull crushing 225 on a straight bar, which I've never seen before in my life. So then we started talking and we, we became friends and then he would make uh, random trips into GNC. Then we started training together. Then he told me, oh, you gotta come to this gym uh, in New Haven. And that's when I went to New Haven and started working out um, at Montanari Brothers Gym. And that's how I got to know the Montanari Brothers. And that's how I became very close with Kenny. And Kenny started his posing company because Evan was his first client. I was his second. So Evan was one of the guys that got me into the industry. Now, Michael Johansson on the other fucking hand. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. What do you got going on here, Evan? Um, well, I was mainly going to make like a fish dish, but then... I don't know, Branch. Why do I, why do I feel like you won't eat fish? You do? All right. Well, then we got more. We got even more. So I got some pork chops, and I was gonna make some boiled potatoes and fresh we, pasta and seafood. Uh, I, I usually travel with so much meat that after a while, even Branch says, "Okay, I can't take any more meat. Like we, yeah. we need to have something else." Seafood's nice because it's yeah. easy to put down. You know. Have a seat, guys. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. Cool. It's totally different than buying pasta in the store. It tastes totally different. I have, so much I have no technique whatsoever. I have no clue really what I'm doing. My daughter started doing it. Like She got it in her head like a month ago. She just decided she wanted to make pasta. So like, sure. So like, you know, we literally just started with her like rolling it out and just like, you know, cutting it up. I'm like, ah, oh, let's get a little, you know, whatever. It comes out good. I like if you if, if we were to show this on YouTube, yeah. people would probably go nuts because they'd be like, Fucking do, you're fucking doing it wrong. You're not, that's not how you're you not do it. You're not an Italian. You're not a real Italian. You motherfucker. <laughs> I remember we had a conversation one time, and uh, I think you told me, you said you like working out more than you like competing. Oh, and, dude, uh, I, 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 I did yeah. not like competing. You know, like, you do it, yeah. but I don't know if you guys It's just the end it. result to what I enjoyed doing. It, it just it made, it made what I did just have like some sort of end result that I could, you know, attach yeah, it to. Quantify. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it definitely brings out a different... Side of you. Side of you and a whole, bring, help. If you're just doing it for fun, would you ever really reach that level? Probably not. No. But not, I don't know. Like, I like the view. You liked I, it? I like the challenge and I like the competition. But, I like the but and all that. I like, trust me, I love, that's why I still train, so I love training way more. But uh, I, I liked it. It uh, it drove me to train harder. You know, I think it did all of us. Uh, I'm just gonna fry a little bit of onion first. Yeah. New cod, shrimp, and calamari, and then I just throw some clams in just because the broth from it kind of seasons everything. He will find the best of the everything in the weirdest spots. Like he just named like a spot in the Bronx where he goes to get certain food. Then there's a Portuguese place where he goes to get certain bread. Then he'll tell you about the place where he goes to get the canned tomatoes. And then he's a special place where he goes to get his meats. Like he finds the specific hole in the wall spots that have the best shit. And it's always the, it always is the best shit. So I'll order like four of these at a time because the shipping's only like 25 bucks. So if you order a few of them, then it's worth it. Yeah. But dude, this stuff, you can't beat it. Really? I'm telling you. You guys can feed Do I? Yeah. Hell no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. I say the same thing, hell no. I, I miss, you know, I miss those preps, you know, where... I get focused like that. When you're six weeks out, eight weeks out, and you, you know, you're just, you're a fucking machine, and you're firing, and you're seeing those changes happen all the time, that's really exciting, you know? Yeah. I put the blinders on, and I didn't care if the board was on fire. Yeah. I had to focus on, I had a mission. It was nice being able to have just that single focus and not have to worry about a lot of other things. That, that I miss. We're doing what we do best, so we're going to enjoy a little uh, lunch here at Evans Cinepani's house. Then we're off to Montanari Brothers Gym to get a workout in, and then uh, we have a big event tonight at Montanari's Brother, a meetup, open house, and uh, we'll do what we always do, serving serving wagyu fillets and potatoes and rice and uh so stop by and say what's up and uh you're a fan of pasta right 
love pasta. <laughs> so, pasta, I think we uh, I think there's pasta, shrimp, uh, cod, and I'm not sure what else is over there he's cooking up, but it smells really good. And the pasta is homemade, so uh, that's a special treat. And uh, can't wait. <laughs> Evan and his kitchen are, are getting famous. Well, Evan's been famous. His kitchen is getting more famous as the YouTube videos get put out. What does it smell like in here? Uh, it smells like a very high-end Italian seafood restaurant. Evan's a good cook. He's just very specific about his, like where their food comes from, the ingredients that he uses, and it, it just that shows in, in how he cooks and how he eats. I mean, he's very specific about like the olive oils, the, the certain kind of herbs he uses. Um, all the way down to where he gets the meat. I mean, it's just, it's it's very, his, the way he does, prepares his food is very well thought out. That's really good, really good. You know it's good because there's not a word being spoken in the thing. Oh, there was so much trash being talk. Now all of a sudden it's got quiet. Yeah, but the, yeah everybody shut up. Bro, the damn good. Yeah, yeah. Evan, thank you. Super impressed. Very good. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad. <laughs> I mean, if somebody gave me a choice of which one I'd prefer to eat, I'd rather eat that stuff on the bone, yeah. yeah. I mean, the, you know, the lean meat's good too, but the stuff on, yeah, the, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> eat it like a, like a rib, you know? Just bite it? And you eat it, the fat and everything. No, no, pick it up and eat it. Like this. Are you just digging into it? Yeah, you can put a little hot sauce on it, whatever. I said, Ev, the food was good, the fish was good, the pasta was good, the coffee was good, the pork was good. I would say everything was amazing. Uh, it was more than good. You have to just top me yeah. because you just have to use a better adjective. It was so easy. The guy said great, you said amazing. How about if I said it was uh, bellissimo? Yeah. Yeah, the big one I think was the overall for winning nationals. One of them is Atlantic States. One of them was uh, runner-up at nationals. Uh, one was my class and overall at junior nationals. Tampa Pro was a, was a sword that's at the gym. Coming here since 2007. Long, long time. You know the gym the best of everybody. No, I know. This is your home. You want me to wait for branch or want me to show you? This is all arm and chest stuff, and then you got all the, the benches and all the chest machines back against the wall. Yeah. Then you got all the dumbbell stuff right under the mirrors. Yeah. This is part of the leg room. So this is part of it. And then the leg stuff extends all the way back. All the way they segregate each area. So you don't have somebody training arms next to you that's squatting. So it's like you have the, everybody's training arms in one area, legs in one area. So you don't have people interrupting each other when they're not, you know, so everybody is kind of in sync. So you have anybody that's training chest is there. Anybody training legs, there. Anybody training arms, here. Anybody training shoulders, there. So it stops like the interruptions in the gym and it kind of stops the congestion, which I, I like because when you look around, this gym gets very busy, but there's not a lot of people inner, like, like bumping into each other and running into each other because it's very, the way the kind of floor plane they have it out. But this floor plan, minus the extension, they have not changed the way it's laid out in 20 years. It's been exactly the same. I haven't been here in two years and I knew where everything was still. They kept it exactly the same. Yeah, just like you were saying, just like Metroflex, you know, some of the best pictures. You saw Ronnie or myself or Johnny, whatever, same thing, but the natural lighting, bay doors, you know, it gets you the best light, the best, yeah. you, can't duplicate, you can't duplicate that in a studio. And, um, you know, these gyms like this, man, this is where the champions are made. So, you know, people that are serious and really want to work in and change their physiques and win, they come from places like this. Come on. Yep. All day.
Come on, B. Come on. So you have it left. Come on. Come on. Good. Come on. Come on. Good. Drive it up. Yes, sir. Good. Come on, B. Finish. He leaves him there like I'm going to do that. Gym complete without that picture right there. Best legs of all time, Tom Platt. Come on! Come on, B. Get it. Come on, eat, baby. Come on. Damn. Come on, what you got? Boom. Boom. Come on, what you got, baby? Boom. Notice, oh, they're not doing a lot of weight. There's not a thousand pulleys on here. So this stack is 10 times heavier than a stack with a lot of pulleys. So it looks like it's only 50, 60 pounds. You put it on 80, could barely even fucking budget. So racks like this, the weights are very true to the, what they say. Unlike those ones that have like five pulleys on them. It's like you put on 120 pounds, like pulling 30 pounds. <clears throat>
Come on, try! Yeah, I love this place, man. This is uh, my kind of place, you know. You know, like this, garage doors, great equipment, you know, they've uh, put some thought into it. Can't pick the best pieces from each line. There's no line, I don't think, has every piece is superior, so. I took the best pieces, and the cool part is you got options. You know, it's not just one or two boxing machines, it's like eight. You know, it's not like one leg press, it's three or four. So, uh, great job, man. Great out here, and big thank you out to the Monday Brothers for Welcome Loose, open the door to us, you know, to work out and do the open house tonight. So, uh, thank you. <clears throat> Come on, B. <clears throat> Come on. <clears throat> Come on. Good. Finish. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. Finish. Yep. Fourth, NRG Center, Houston, Texas. It's the 17th annual Branch World Classic. Go to MetroFlexEvents.com for your entry, registration, and vendor information. Be there. And uh, no, we're at we're down here in New Haven, Connecticut, and uh, we're at Power, Monterey uh, Powerhouse Gym, which is actually probably my top two favorite gyms out of all the gyms I've ever trained at in oh, this country. Goodness. So I got a push day today. Ashlyn's got some legs. Always legs. So we were a little late because I had work, but uh, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it going. Hell yeah! Oh, let's yeah. let's see some no compromises, guys. They're still warming up. Favorite types of dumbbells too. What are those called? The good ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Guy Sistanino, and I drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
sixties today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So it's moved pretty easy, so. Good, you. Good. <laughs> he pat his ass. I always gotta get my butt taps in. Dude, straight guys are the gayest guys ever. Well, the gay guys need to know that I don't mind touching another man's ass, so I don't get fucking ripped apart online for being like homophobic. Yeah, we don't need people being being offended, you know, transphobic. It's not you're homophobic. Suck yeah, and it's not true. It's it's not that I'm homophobic. I just don't. I'm just interested in the vagina. I know. You know. <laughs> I'd just rather put my penis in, you know, like a place called home. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to go back on three, all right? One, two. All day. Good, Chris. Come on. Easy money, bro. Good. Again. Again. Don't stop. Come on, motherfucker. Come on. Again. Come on. All right. Come on. Push. Come on, give me 10. Come on, get it. Get it. Come on, eat. Come on, you gotta eat. Come on, come on, come on. Good. Good. Yeah. Sorry, Jerry, for dropping the weight. Now he hates that. <laughs> he does. Oh. Oopsie. That was a good set. Yeah, I missed him. I don't see you enough. Thursday night, and this place is jam packed. I mean, this, the place speaks for itself. You know, you don't really have to say much when you got a place like this. You just look around, look at the people, look at the equipment. Atmosphere speaks for itself. And now what Best are we place. doing? Huh? Now what are we doing out there? We're hoping MJ knows how to grill some steak and make some rice. And uh, we're going to eat up post-training. And then uh, we some fans, friends, and uh, some of the guys at uh, the powerhouse gym. And we're going to uh, have a good time. Shaking babies and kissing hands. Shake them bitches. people coming and uh, enjoying a meal together like this then uh, it's kind of like a crazy idea to do what we're doing but it feels so worth it now when you see everything come to come full circle what makes it worth it for you i just uh, you know breaking bread with other people and making new friends is uh, it's amazing show. Uh, building community yeah building community uh, learning different cultures and so much diversity and everybody's uh, United by you know, fitness and bodybuilding and uh, just having fun and they're doing what they, they love to do, you know, no excuses, no compromises, being relentless with life, pursuing whatever, you know, kids here pursuing school, they're pursuing fitness, they are, you know, they want to compete or they don't want to compete, like, you know, everything is like, it's good to see, you know. No, it's potty. Uh, whatever, who says potty? Pro probably guy. Oh. If there's an R, it sounds so weird for me to say R, like, like it sounds weird. You gotta say a hard R, right? No, I don't hard R anything. No, if there's an R at the end, it's it's like an A-H, like water, water. car, marker board. Nice You're ripping heat as kid, give me a butt. You throwing a kega? Kega? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, what's up? What's up, yo? <laughs> it's your boy MJ from Gas for Better Bodies. Oh. <laughs> what's good, kid? It's MJ, kid. <laughs> Of one to the best steak I've ever had. It's the best steak I've ever had. Fucking dramatic. Bro. <laughs> Bro. We're going to Guy's parents, sir. We're going to go fishing with Guy, right, Tony? We are. That's what we're doing. 5.30 in the morning. We, the, uh, the morning, <laughs> is that right? the morning bite is the best. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is that's when it's most active yeah. Yeah. once that sun comes up a high and the yeah. sun comes out it slows down a yeah. little bit so we're gonna do our best yeah. all right 
Dude, I like your dad's friends, Jimmy Schaefer and then Was he Joe. showing him how to turkey call? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, all, you motherfuckers from Texas think you're the only guys that are redneck. <laughs> Come to fucking Jersey, I'll show you redneck. Jimmy and I just got back from, uh, from turkey hunting from upstate New York. And uh, the week before I was up with Joe, Joe was, uh, he got his first turkey. And Jimmy and I, all we did was we got a lot of cardio in. <laughs> but Jimmy's a call maker. Uh, he's actually did competition. He hunts, he hunted from Florida all the way up to Maine. He just got back from Maine. He was up in Maine for a week uh, turkey hunting. He got two turkeys in Maine. Then he came home. He couldn't sleep. He got up and shot one in Jersey. Okay, so he's three ahead of me. <laughs> he's got three. Joe's got one. I got... <laughs> but anyway, Jimmy's a, a custom call maker. And years ago, I was hunting upstate New York when Anthony was 10. 10, 11 years old, we had a cabin upstate New York, and my father, my son Anthony and I, we were out turkey hunting, and I took a picture of my father and, and Anthony sitting on a, on, a, on a cat in front of the cabin, and then a couple years ago, my grandson, his son, my son Anthony's son, Cash, took him out turkey hunting for the first time. He was only six years old. He wasn't hunting, he came with us, and then there was... Anthony took a picture of him and I sitting on the back of my tailgate. <clears throat> we're in here, Joe's here, Jimmy stops by one day, and we're cutting deer up, and Jimmy has coffee like he always does, and then he leaves, and he says, oh, by the way, he said, there's a little bag over there for you. And I go to open it up, and uh, he made this for me. That's my father and my son, Anthony. And it's me and my son Cash, my grandson Cash. These are the calls that he makes. And you can actually use this if you want. Of course, you have to scratch it. And he, he signs every one. Uh -huh. And he's got his logo on there, Oak Ridge Custom Calls in the back. Try to make it sound like a turkey. The bottom is a sound hole. It's basically like an acoustic guitar. Oh yeah. yeah. So you strum on the strings with a guitar. Yeah. You play on this, and it comes out the sound holes. Yeah, exactly. So that was the sound hole. Yeah. Listen to my dad talk. So, so right now we got guys' dad telling stories, hunting stories, and uh, fishing stories, and so he uh, was showing us some turkey calls. So uh, I'd rather go turkey hunting than fishing, actually. So uh, there might be there might be two like two less people on this boat. Yeah. What, what you got? What you getting out? We can do that. An elk call? Right, I'm not going to do it in here. You'll blow your ears out. Right. It's an elk call, huh? Yeah. Oh, you're here? Come on. Come on. Well, if my car's here, where would I be? I didn't see. I didn't actually pay attention if your car was here. Did the elk wake you up? Did you hear that elk outside? <laughs> I moved here, we moved here when I was two, so I've been fishing here for almost 40 years. What an experience. <laughs> yes, sir. Live life to the fullest. Like a tradition when you, when you fish. No, this is a fake shit. This isn't true. The, the, the one swim. biggest fish. One, one fish limit. The biggest fish. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna split up. Jimmy's going over where that boat is there now. There's a underwater road when they built this. There was a road that went across, and there's big arches underneath. He's gonna go fish that. All the way down at the end is a uh, the dam in the spillway. Joe's going all the way down there, okay? Small mouth.
mouth bass and large mouth bass love crayfish. Crayfish and the olive, which is a herring, it's a little bait fish. So they're the two most popular baits that are in here that we target. So you try to throw something that imitates the natural bait that's in the water. What that 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 they'll forage. An ambush fish. They'll stay in a certain area, something comes by, they come out and they grab it. Nice and easy. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Alright. Nice and easy. Alright. Go ahead, real. First fish in a boat. Is it the small mouth? That's or a large mouth? mouth. Large mouth. Look at that beautiful black fish. Oh, that's. I gotta take a picture and I gotta send it to the boys. I gotta say, we're on the board. I got seaweed. <laughs> you want some help? Nope. I'm gonna flip them right in the boat. Watch. Now they got teeth. Whoa, he got Whoa. Them. Watch his teeth. Don't grab his don't grab his mouth. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Take a picture of him. I got you. Oh. Squeeze him behind the neck. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Up. Oh him. Chuck him. There you go. Because you can't like you, I can't do anything. No, no, he's like my, he he gets mad at my mom and he does the same stuff. I open a thing, he shuts it. I do this, he does that. I move this, he touches I'm like just trying to make coffee. Where are we at, Branch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's great. So, as my Joe calls us the duel and sister Ninos. <laughs> well, uh, I think we caught seven pickerel, a couple of perch. Right. MJ was a large mouth. Yeah. Huh? MJ got a large mouth. Well, he got a large mouth, yeah. Guy, I think, got the and big fish. And he washed too. Guy got the big fish of the day. Hey, uh, 212 fish of the day. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> so we had Yang with us, man, from uh, over here from straight out of China. He went on his first fishing trip, caught him a bass. So he's real excited about that. Uh, oh, because I cooked? Yeah. No, uh, because uh, you know yeah. I watched your your videos on you know, <laughs> your, your, your channel on YouTube, so look I, I know you guys. So when we order Chinese, uh, look at that. Oh, we this have our own. One. Yeah. Chop oh, that's sticks, cool. And uh, this is two pandas. Two pandas. You know, to put the they go on top. On. Um, oh, to here, rest here. Oh, okay, rest I'm here. here. All right. Rest here. So yeah. it doesn't. That's really it. sweet, huh? I'm yeah. so excited. Yeah. My own chopsticks. Yeah. And I have. Cool. Thank you. Five. Careful, they don't fall out. He's opening it up. Okay, I'll open it. Sure. Oh. Yeah. Pull it up, pull it up. Pull, pull it up, it. I'm yeah. sorry. Look at that. Oh wow. my gosh, how nice. With, uh, with tiger. Oh, those, um, those tea cups? Yes, yeah, tea to awesome. drink. Yeah, to drink tea the, cups. That's cool. The Chinese That's awesome. Tea yeah, let's see, let's see. Hey, hey uh, guy, can I see, uh, just look up here real quick? Look up here, do it yeah. that way. There you go. Yang, there you go. Got it. That's awesome. Yeah. That's my okay. Thank you so much. That's, That's very pleasure. sweet of you to thank do you. that. Thank, thank, you. You. Thank, thank you. you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Miles and you are a pro. Um, That's a trout I caught upstate. We're right here That's guys at parents' house. We we'll have a home cooked meal. And it was a perfect way to end the fishing trip. We get checked in the hotel tomorrow. Excuse me, tomorrow morning when we get set up for the New York Pro. Uh, support all of our athletes. I think we have eight athletes competing. Guess better gasp and better body athletes. So um go support them. Watch the show, and then uh, Sunday morning, back to the airport, Texas, here I come. You can get whatever you want. I think I made 19 pieces, so there's plenty for all of you. French will eat 10 of them. <laughs> Chicken Parmesan, it's my favorite, that's what, this is like, it's my, my, this is my birthday dinner meal, like, so when, I, when it's my birthday, this is what I request. Yeah, I should have. put the gravy on the bottom, right, guy? Yep, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. gravy, <laughs> uh, he sauce. Told, yeah, it's all right, he got embarrassed in Italy when he got realized that he's an idiot, and nobody in Italy actually calls it gravy. Calls it sauce. Yeah, so, so yeah. he, so I'm he, sorry he tried to so, so now when he comes back, he can feel embarrassed <laughs> that he was in Italy, and he got embarrassed I, that nobody actually calls it, nobody. No, that's wrong, right. because when you go to Sicily, well, everybody in Sicily. That's because everybody. 
so you could heading walk off to the yeah, yep heading off to the venue right, right. Uh, to the hotel dropping off the trailer here at guy's parents perfect we don't need to mess with it in uh, jersey so it feels really good ease of mind you know and uh, so now we're pretty tired after uh, fishing for a full day eating a lot of good italian food just feels amazing it's even hard for Nick to heal, hold the camera still. It's kind of like shaking a little bit. Yeah, look at them, what are they <laughs> So it's all good. We need to, we need some rest now. And then we'll get ready for tomorrow. Fuck rest. Yeah. So, so we need we to do, do this do here again and again yeah. and again. Yeah, yeah. We'll do, yeah. A we'll do turkey hunting in the morning and fishing in the afternoon. Sounds like yeah. winter. Right? Yes. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, it was super Thank nice meeting you guys. Thank you super so nice meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Pleasure, Thank man. So hey, nice meeting you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry yes. for I'm sorry for losing your no, fish. Don't worry. <laughs> it's like fine. It was nice it's meeting you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting. With the New York Pro, so uh, been a few been a minute since I've been here. I won this show back in like 2007 when it was in Tribeca. One of my favorite shows. Gas Better Bites. Proud to be the title sponsor this year. This is one of Marquee shows. I think one of the longest running shows in history. So uh, glad to be here. So stay tuned. Yeah, so um, I took last year off to uh, just put on a little bit more size, and uh, and I actually did. I was looking at the um, like the scale for the most part, and I was a little discouraged about that because the scale number wasn't that much different. I mean, it was probably like a four pound difference, and uh, so I was a little discouraged about that. But then comparing the pictures from last time I competed to this time, I mean, it was a world of a difference, and uh, so I was just really excited to see how that translated to the stage this time, and uh, looks like they they liked me. So, <laughs> and, and that that's all a testament to having the foresight and making the plan and just sticking to it exactly yeah yeah yeah, yeah I'm, I'm super happy um, I don't think it could have gone any better we're gonna come in a little, a little bit drier tonight and uh, see if we can bump that placing up just a little bit so, yeah so we're here to get your pro it's actually in Teaneck, Jersey, so uh, my man Jordan here just got off stage from the 212 mass, so how do you feel? I feel great. Um, it was a blast, and I'm just happy to be here. It's a very surreal moment to step on stage for the first time as a pro. Um, it's something that I've dreamed about for a long time, and I wanted to put my name on the wall today, and hopefully I made a statement still showing up, and it definitely was my best, and I'm going to be here for a long time. It's plan. Well, this was my first pro show way back in like... 2003, so it was a lot of champions back then before it became New York Pro. And uh, better wise, this is probably I saw the Olympian Arrow, probably the biggest show in the world, and uh, a lot of prestige, probably one of the longest running shows in the history of our sport. So, uh, brother, good luck to you tonight. What's going on? How are you? How are you? You're looking, you looking all glammed up with this hand on, on hip a, and on stuff. On occasion, on occasion, <laughs> you know. You look, you look in shape, yeah. Yeah. You're not I'm even in, holding I'm in, water. I'm in some type of shape. <laughs> yeah. Well, muscular is, is a shape. Yes. Yeah. Muscular and round and full. <laughs> yes. Ready, ready. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. So, mother, your ears must have been ringing because we were just talking about... We were. Yeah. Liter oh, okay. Literally. Literally. Oh, okay. Like to the second. Oh, hello. I'm Mike. Giovanni. Pleasure meeting you. Yeah. 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 Okay. You're a good thing. What's up, Brian? Can we get a not because he's intrigued about him in cowboy boots and a cowboy hat, but because he's never seen a Chinese guy in a cowboy hat and cowboy boots. That's the fucking reason. Not because he cares about the picture, because he wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> Drink your fucking homo coffee. <laughs> they ran out of fucking coffee. I said, get up. So then I take the homo coffee. I was like, can I get the gay shit?